Exola Store lets teams integrate in-app purchases and sell virtual goods to a worldwide audience, all with extremely low fees and fast integration. Today, we'll guide you through the setup process, from initial login to testing your first transactions. Follow these steps and you'll be ready to go in just a few minutes. First, head to the Unreal Engine Marketplace from the Epic Games Launcher. Search for Exola Store SDK and install it to Engine. Open your project in Unreal Editor. If you have a Blueprint project, compile it first, then go to Content Browser and add a new C++ class with None as a Parent Mode. Go to Settings, Plugins, Installed, Exola Store SDK. Tick the Enabled Sandbox option, then save your settings with the Restart Now button. Go to Content Browser, View Options, and tick the Show Engine Content and Show Plugin Content checkboxes. Click Content Browser, Exola Content, Maps, and launch the demo map of the game. Use Exola as both the login and password to try it out. In the demo project, you can look through and test all of the features provided by Exola Store SDK. The demo user will have a test card saved on their account. You can use this to safely test the purchase flow from start to finish. Now let's configure your store. Go to exola.pro slash SDK and create an account. Make a new project in your Exola dashboard and fill in all the necessary information. Click the login section on the left hand nav bar and create a new login. Copy your login ID and project ID. Go to Settings, Project Settings, Plugins, Exola Login, and fill in the login ID. Next, Exola Store, and fill in the project ID and demo project ID. Go to Project Settings and toggle the Integrate New Store Management Methods option. Save your settings, then click the Store section on the left-hand navigation bar. Click Connect under the Virtual Items box. Create a group of items, then add a few test items to the group. If you want to sell currency packages, you can return to the Store section and publish your account, and click Connect under the Virtual Currency box. Create a currency, and then create a currency package. Launch the demo map in Unreal, and register a new user. Sign up or log in using this window, and you'll be able to see the test items you created. Sandbox mode is turned on by default. You can use it to test out the store without spending real funds. Use our test credit card information to try out Sandbox payments. They're listed in Exola's documentation. Simply go to API Reference, PayStation, Payment UI, Test Cards List. After the payment, the item will be added to the player's inventory. You can see all purchased items there. If the item is consumable, you can consume it right from the game client. And that's it. You can now manage, modify, and test your item listings safely in sandbox mode. When you're ready to go live, make sure you sign a legal agreement with Exola. Note that after the first real payment, we will automatically turn on the strict sandbox policy. To make sandbox payments in strict policy mode, create a user with the same email used in your publisher account. Check active addresses by navigating to publisher, then profile settings. Accounts with associated emails will be displayed under company settings, users. For more information, check out our guide at developers.exola.com or contact us directly at am at exola.com. We're here to help. Enjoy your awesome new Exola in-game store.